Good morning, everyone. I hope you all had a lovely evening last night. And welcome to day two of KubeCon Cloud NativeCon Europe 2023 and our second set of keynotes. It's fantastic to see the auditorium packed. This is wonderful. We hope you enjoyed our video updates from graduated projects yesterday because today we're kicking things off with some more updates and some exciting progress with Kubernetes. So sit back and let's hear what's new with Kubernetes. Hello everyone, this is Xin. I'm happy to share with you some highlights from Sig Storage. We have a GA feature that delegates FS Group to the CSI driver so that volume permissions can be controlled using MUN options. In 1.27, we have a beta feature that speeds up container startup time by mounting volumes with the correct secure Linux label. We have another beta feature where a new persistent volume access mode can restrict access to a single pod on a single node. In 1.27, we also introduced an alpha feature that allows the CSI driver to support a consistent group snapshot of multiple volumes. Come to our deep dive session to learn more. Thank you. Hello, this is Mike Gang, one of the Open Cluster Management developers. OCM is a project focused on multi-cluster fleet scenarios while being cloud vendor agnostic. It provides a lightweight control plane and is easily extensible. It features a cluster inventory, workload distribution, content placement, policy for configuration and governance, application lifecycle management, a flexible add-on framework, and much more. Some of our new features in recent releases are STL multi-cluster mesh add-on, community collaboration Argo CD integration, Visual Studio Code extension, policy add-ons enhancements for resource management and templating. The OCM community is growing rapidly. Please visit our sessions and website for more information. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I am Navarun from the Kubernetes Steering Committee. Today, I bring to you some major governance updates targeted at improving the long-term sustainability of the project. First, we have formally split the chair and tech lead roles. Earlier, the tech lead role could roll up into the chair if no tech leads were defined. And this led to a lot of confusion with people completing the roles together. Second, expanding on our subproject owners, we are adding a new role, the subproject lead. This is largely to formally recognize the people who are already doing the work. These changes should clarify responsibilities and pave a way for more people to step into leadership. An announcement, Kubernetes now publishes container images to a shiny new registry, registry.kts.io, which is faster and offers a much better experience. You should switch to the new registry as the old one is no longer updated and will go away in the future. If you're interested in contributing or want to chat with some of our maintainers, swing by the Kubernetes meet and greet tomorrow. Thanks. A big hello from SigDocs. The localization subproject is now official, and we have our docs available in 15 different languages. The following languages still need some support to make sure they're delivering quality content. Ukrainian, German, Polish, and newly launched in 2022, Hindi. There's been renewed interest in creating a localization, and so we want to remind everyone that to do so, you need to be a Kubernetes organization member, which means you're already contributing to the project in some way. We really look forward to seeing new localizations and continued work on our current languages throughout 2023. Welcome everyone to our Zig release project update for KubeCon EU. We finally released Kubernetes 1.27, so a huge shout out to the whole release team and everyone who is involved in this process. We also enhanced our processes around platform support, optimized our build pipelines, and reworked the enhancements as part of our roadmap and vision. You should also apply to the upcoming 1.28 release cycle as a shadow. Adolfo, what's next on release engineering? This was a challenge year for the release engineering team. We did our part to help with the registry migration from blog posts to adapting the processes to the new community infra. This has not stopped us from innovating, though when we've improved the way we built our system packages, standard release binaries, and even created a new SASA tester for anybody to use. Thanks, Adolfo. And if you're interested in this release, feel free to reach out to us directly or just attend our weekly meetings. Thanks. My name is Marley Puckett, and this is the SIG CLI project update. In 2022, we saw a customized v5 and CUI 13 release. We also saw improvements to discovery caching by utilizing OpenAPI v3. The kubectl sub-resources kept also was graduated from alpha to beta. The crew plugin index grew to 213 plugins. And finally, 
Cube Kettle auto completions where we work such that they're much more performant. Thanks, Marley. A couple things that are top of mind for us are translation, server side apply, separating client configs from cube config, and new contributors, as always. You can join us on our meetings on Wednesday, or you can find us on the Kubernetes Slack, and we're having a maintainer session this Friday at 12 o'clock. So thanks and come stop by. We're here from Kubernetes SIG Security. Here's what we've been up to. Our third-party security audit subproject is excited to report that the audit is close to being published, coming soon to a repo near you. SIG Security Tooling subproject is excited to share that the Kubernetes official CVE feed is now beta in 1.27. Check it out. Our newest subproject is security self-assessments. Their first project was the cluster API self-assessment, and now they're working on one for vSphere CSI driver. Want your own security self-assessment? Want to help with someone else's? Requests are welcome. SIG Security Docs has been working on the Kubernetes hardening guide and is looking for additional contributors to that. SIG Security, like Kubernetes security as a whole, is what everybody makes it. Everyone's welcome, no matter your skill level. Come hack the planet with us. Hello, KubeCon. This is Mansi from the SIG Windows community, and I'm here to give the project update. So let's see what's new. We have Container D1.7 with Hyper-V preview, host process container improvements, and the pod sandbox starts from currently kept. We have HPC stable now, so please check it out. We have SWT, which is making Windows easier to contribute. We have a new workflow with KMU, which will allow anyone with a laptop to contribute. We have the Windows Cube Proxy out of tree experimental project based on KPNG, and the new node lock query feature, which will allow our cluster administrators to view node locks. We also have a new Windows performance dashboard. And as always, we're looking for new contributors. So please reach out to Jay or Amim on the SIG Windows Slack channel and come see us at the maintenance talk. So thank you to our Kubernetes maintainers and, uh, and SIG um, uh, track uh, ch chairs and so on. If you would like to join, these are the types of people and groups that you want to go take a take a look for and they're, they're very friendly so please uh, pl please consider joining if you would like to help with Kubernetes.